Good morning, everybody. Today's a busy day. I've already got up and ran seven miles. I've already edited a video. I got the kids off to school with Bonnie this morning. Um, I also got all the finances caught up for all of our companies. And now I am starting to grab a dump trailer so we can start demolition on that house. The number one task today at the house is getting all of that nasty carpet out of there. I promised the kids they would help with demolition but I just can't in good conscience let them be a part of pulling out that carpet. That thing is holding so much odor, debris, everything. Um, so I'm gonna go in and take care of that and hopefully in the next couple hours I'll have it done so that the kids can come and participate knocking down some sheetrock. Oh, this is a heavy trailer. You don't have to have all the right tools to do these projects. You just have to have friends with some of the right tools. And this dump trailer is one of the best friend tools I've ever borrowed. You may recognize it from other videos, such as leveling your lawn. I'll link that one there too. Today's a special day, guys. We start demolition on that beauty of a house right there. The kids have been dying to knock down anything that they can, punch holes in anything that they can, and there are certain things that I'm going to let them just do that to. I have bought a few special tools. I am a DeWalt fan, so of course they're DeWalt tools. You see this, mother? Look at this thing. Is that thing a pig or what? That bad boy. And... You need a crowbar, you need a crowbar for that. So those are kind of my tools of choice for today. But before the kids even think about coming into this house, I've gotta get rid of that odor. It is so bad and I know it's gonna take a long time to get rid of a lot of it, but most of it's sitting in the carpet. So that's what's coming up first. You definitely can't see much, but I am sweating like a pig. Maybe you can see it on that window, lens, that glass lens. That's all my sweat. I'm gonna give you guys a little, I'm gonna give you guys a little update on pulling up the carpet. It is 100% the source of the smell. Cause the house smells cleaner already, but still not great. But a little FYI. Oh, see the house stinks, it stinks a little worse because that's torn up. So I gotta get this out. But this part of the floor, Came up really, really nice and smooth. Um, you can see marks underneath where it's dirty and filthy and nasty. But this area looks black and disgusting. It looks like the carpet has been glued down. But that is not glue, my friends. That is, I'm pretty positive that that is just pet pee. It's something, I don't know. Some kind of fluid that has been running through that carpet rampant for a long time. And that carpet, doesn't come up. I mean, you have to really work at it. It's practically glued down. Whereas, if you came into this bedroom and start tugging it, these sections, see how this will just kind of flop off? Because the carpet pad isn't glued down at all. But this area, it's become glued down because of so much urine and feces and who knows what. And in this room, because this board is OSB, you can really tell how bad it looks. See all these stains? All of them. That's all urine and P. 
pee and stuff from, I guess urine and pee are the same thing. Come on, Joel. That's all from their pets just running wild. That is abhorrent. And the person who probably lived here before wasn't very healthy themselves, I bet. Kind of sad to think about it. Uh, I don't know what kind of person they were, but whatever they were, they weren't very happy in life because if you're letting your animals take over your house like that, I don't think you're a very happy person. You've got to be pretty, pretty sad off, which is a pretty sad situation. It does bring me a lot of joy to be rebuilding this house and making it look new and nice again. Um, but I think that means turning over a sad leaf for somebody else. Um, and, and I don't take that lightly. I really don't take that lightly. I don't ever want to prey on somebody's misfortune or somebody's awful opportunities for my gain. That's in no way my um, intentions. But I am happy that we can take this house and, um, and rejuvenate it and make it something nice. When I was talking with the city, I told her the address for registering the house and all that kind of stuff. And she's like, oh, that place is in bad shape. And I said, oh yeah, I, it is. And she goes, well, are you gonna clean it up? And I said, you bet I am. She says, that will be such a, a, a nice thing for the neighborhood, because it's surrounded by kind of nice neighbors, but it's got this one house that's an eyesore. We're gonna fix that. That's enough of the somber story. We're done with that. Um, I will show you something that is super, super cool. You can't really tell, but these planks of wood are three quarter inches thick. Uh, that means they are very, I think you can see it better on this one. Yeah, you can see it on this one. This hardwood floor is three quarters of an inch thick in certain place, all the way through. I thought the flooring was gonna be something that I had to relay all myself. I do know how to lay the floor, but I just didn't wanna add the cost of laying the floor up here. So depending on what's underneath that tile over there, we may not have to redo the floors in the main living area upstairs. We just may have to sand them down a ton and refinish them. And uh, that, is, that is a really cool find. I'm really happy about that. Our house had hardwood floors underneath the new hardwood floors we put in, but they were so thin that if I was to sand them, they were gonna be in awful shape. They would be so thin and squeaky. There was no way to make them really nice, but these are good thick hardwood floors. These are the same thickness of the new hardwood floors we put in our house. And they're really salvageable. So hopefully underneath that tile, I'm hoping it's this hardwood floor as well. There's a pretty good chance it's not. There's a pretty good chance it is. We'll just have to see. That's one of the gambles. So maybe finding methamphetamine in here was, uh, was a bit of a loss, but finding those hardwood floors is a big find. So there we go. Well, you guys, it's happened. I am making my first ever tool run for the new house. That is a cool feeling, and uh, I'm pretty excited about it. I think taking out the carpets and the pad is gonna really, really alleviate the smell and make it so that it's a safer place for the kids to come and work with me. I know Cody's dying to do some demolition, and I just had to get that filth and garbage out of there because there's a lot of junk in that. So when the kids come later to do demolition, they will be ready. I do have them suited up with safety for uh, the face masks and glasses and gloves and everything, and I think they'll be set. So I think I'm gonna call it a day. If you guys like today's video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. If you guys are wondering what this project is even about, I will put the playlist that started this whole endeavor down in the description below. And if you guys don't wanna miss out on one thing that we're doing, hit that notification bell so you can see this house change to something beautiful and majestic hopefully, or see what other problems are gonna arise for us. I will also link in the description the masks I used and the safety glasses I used if you guys are wanting to use those for your own projects. Until then, we'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.